This is my D20 lamp project. Um, I 3D printed um, three pieces for this. One holds the lights and the die. One is a structure that has all the circuitry and buttons and uh, power supply barrel jack. And the last one is this bottom cap to cover all the electronics. When you first power this on, it's in a run mode and it's uh, in like a, a rainbow mode. There are two buttons on the side here. The bottom one is like the, the mode select and the top one is uh, like to change settings. Now when you're in any run mode, um, any animation running mode, hitting the top button changes the speed, which is actually uh, the internal delay. And there's several speed settings. You put it on the fastest. There we go. Yeah, let me get a little past it. Um, and then when you hit the mode button, so you start out in, in run mode. The first mode button puts it in brightness mode. And it turns on all the LEDs so you can kind of see with different lights how bright they will be. And there's several settings for brightness. There's the lowest. And then when you hit it nine more times, it goes to max brightness. It'll, if you hit it, if you hit the select again, it'll go back to the minimum. Um, the next selection is what animation. So animation one, what it starts in is the, the, uh, the rainbow mode. Animation two is a, like a rainbow chase where one LED is on at a time and it randomly goes to a different color. Animation three is a fade where it slowly fades in and out to a bunch of different colors. Animation 4 is a pulse mode with a static color, and you can choose the color. I'll show that in, a, I think, in the next setting. Um, animation 5 is a random color pulse, so pulses in and out, and um, it randomly chooses the next color, and I will show all of those. Um, this is where you choose your color. This is a random color setting. This kind of just tells you what that you're in this menu. So when you hit the select button, it changes to a random color until you find one you like. And this is only for the, the static pulse in, pulse out. You hit mode again, and it's off. Um, so then you, it doesn't remember the settings when you plug it back in. So this allows you to turn it off and keep the settings and not have it run. So go when you loop back again, it'll be in run. So let's try the different modes. So brightness, um, animation select. Let's select the rainbow um, race and then run. So this is what this one does. All right, let's go to the next one, which is uh, fade. This is my favorite. And it slowly fades in and fades out um, to different colors forever. The next mode setting is static color pulse. And if you look, this is a color that's chosen right now, purple. So it will pulse in and out in purple. And like I said, when you're running, this top button changes the speed. So let's go to a fast. There we go. Slow down a little bit. All right, go back into animation select. And then the last one, number five, is pulse, but it randomly chooses the next color. And go to run. Pulse in, pulse out. So this, uh, this die was bought online. It's uh, translucent uh, white. Um, these parts were designed in Autodesk Fusion, I believe it is, um, the, the hobbyist version. Um, all the electronics, these are, these are pretty much NeoPixels. They're WS2812B. Um, all the smarts are pretty much on die with these LEDs, and this is just a breakout board to make it easier to solder. Flip it over, um, there's a capacitor, and then mostly this board is just for transferring power to everything. So there's power and ground to all of the LEDs, and then there's uh, a data out line that goes from this little Arduino board to the first LED, and then it, sh you know, there's a, sorry, data in. Data out from the Arduino, data into the LED, and then data out, data in, chaining to all the LEDs. So there's a single communication line coming out from the Arduino, and then also the two buttons are tied in here as well. 
And this is just a five volt uh, adapter from SparkFun as well. I'll list all the components um, online. And that is pretty much it.